let's say Anna now needs to meet her client, what she could do is she could actually take this nice overview, copy this out, put it into a PowerPoint or to a proposal and prepare her meeting. And this will give a very, very good overview for the client if they want to talk about upgrade or update or just get an, an understanding about the installation, how much has been customized, how much is set on. If they also want to know, for example, about localization modules, also for her presentation, she can see here that it, only one local module has been installed. That's the NAV DK from Microsoft that's been installed. So no Swedish or German localizations. We can also look at the add-ons. So we can now see add-ons by tag, and you can actually yourself this put in names, so you have your own preferred names in German or French or what you would like to have. And we can see if anything has been modified in this add-on. We can see here, it's very clearly specified. And if you want to look at the objects, you can do that as well. Let's zoom a little bit further down. We would like now to, to actually focus a bit on the modified objects. We had 208 modified objects. We saw that here. Let's go down and look at this object compared by type. And we can see the 208 is in this box. So I can now zoom in. I can now see I have a list here of five objects. I can change my size into medium. And after that, I can see here now I have a list of 10 objects or out of the 208. And if I want now, I can, for example, zoom in on the salesperson here. So I can see this salesperson table 13. I can see it's been uh, modified, yes. I can also see here that version has been modified as well. Code has been modified. So we actually do check the code, so it's hash checked. So how can we benefit from that? Well, I can actually go up here and filter. So I can say here false. If I just do that, it straight away search now through all my custom or modified objects. And it actually shows me now that two of those objects actually has no change to the code at all but the version list data time was changed. The same I could do with the version list. I also see DB actually make modifications where we forgot to update the version list. So I can check that. Well, it did happen a couple of times. We can see that here. So maybe I need to get my objects updated for those issues. Let's zoom more into the salesperson. Um, table, we can see how Microsoft provided three hotfixes. And I have a warning column up here. It tells me that two of them actually is missing. So I can now click on this and it will now show me what are the hotfixes. I get the all three listed. I can see installed, no, no, and here, yes, it's been installed. And one thing you also will notice here is that it will also show you the control version. It's a Danish or W1DK. I can see that straight away. And next column, I can see an area. In the CU28, it says marketing, but in this 30, it says undocumented. What does that mean? Well, Microsoft has not provided any documentation for this update in this object. That changed whatever they did, they didn't put anywhere. So you wouldn't know. So if you think, hey, it's been an update to this uh, object, you wouldn't know at all. And if you have to check, you know yourself, you will have to go to each update from Microsoft and manually check uh, maybe this was on CU6, so you have to check manually all the way up to CU55. <laughs> that will be quite tedious. Here you get the information in just a second. You will also see here if this update is a single update, means not related to anything else, or Microsoft in this case, for example, did provide a number of updates. If you now would like to know what did Microsoft actually do in this update, well, you can click on this compare button. And this is an example where we charge you three coins because we will now find the code both from this C update and from the previous one and show you in just a second a nice compare. So now you can see what did Microsoft actually do to this uh, Danish update. Or you want to see what was actually customized in this object. You can also do that. You can do a compare, say what have we customized in this object. Then again, you will find the exact same version and do a uh, compare here. So now you can see uh, in this case we have updated of course all the properties and apparently we have inserted two fields and a field group here and some documentation maybe. If you now really would like to have the standard object as well you can actually go here and you can click download and we will give you both the custom and the standard 
just throw it away here in a download file. All right. So let's say now that uh, this is now William, he get a support question. For example, this case, he is saying that the customer has called us. They have an issue. They get an error on the customer table. So I can see the customer table have actually 14 updates, seven are missing. So what I can do is I can get the full list. And remember also here, it only show me now W1 and DK. No Italian, no Spanish, no French whatsoever, because they're not important for me at all. And I can now write here length. And I can see now that actually there was an update in CU28 where it shows me that the string length, blah, 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 uh, there was an error and the customer said, exactly, that's the problem we have. Uh, so we don't need to look into our custom code. We don't need to look on Microsoft website. We don't need to start to do debugging or anything else. Uh, we can actually see that there's already an update. It could now be that, for example, in this case, uh, we ask or the customer will ask us or ask Christian instead say, can you do this uh, update for us? What will be the price if you want to move to CU28? That could be an interesting question. And usually what we have to do, you have to download first uh, CU28. And maybe if this case it's partial, it can be very complicated. So what you can do now, you don't need to worry about it. You can go down and have a look here. We have a measurement on all CU levels. So here you'll see CU1 all the way up to 55. If you look at that. So you can see for all of them, let's go back to the first one again, not to make it too complicated. We can, for example, see here the state. We can see some was partially installed. So now I can see those which was listed in the top and I can see exactly what are those versions and what are the objects inside that's been updated. For example, if I want to show uh, from CU14, what is the object that was partially installed? That was not download, sorry, I wanted to do. I must quickly show, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and I can now select installed and see what has been updated. Partial, apparently. And it will show me now that that was actually the report here, 790 calculate inventory that has been deployed from this later version. Apparently the customer needed something to be fixed. Okay, let me remove the filter here again. Now the client wants, for example, to have a quote, for example, let's say it could be in 28 or it could be on CU8 or 9, let's take 9, for example. I can see in that one, there's 95 updates, none of them has been installed, so all is missing. And we will also be able to see here that 35 of those actually is um, will be conflicting. So if I download that package and try to deploy it, 35 objects will not be able to be deployed at all. I can of course download, we do provide the download link straight away, so you can go to Microsoft website and you can pick uh, the version to download from here. Or we can also offer you uh, to do the work for you. We'll now show you what will be the estimated cost to do that, and you can do a merge. But in this, we actually first will do a pre-merge, you only pay 100 coins for that. For that, we will tell you exactly how far can we bring you, which you can use for a proposal or for your project planning. Uh, and the charge is basically for executing this and for the storage. Again, so you can share it. So we confirm we want to proceed. Now we have made the merge request. And I believe usually if you had to do that, a quick guess is that within the first one hour, you wouldn't have got very far uh, but here i will say within one minute uh, we should already be ready on that